Seaweed! Alright, we need fresh mullets to fish the bridges. A lot of people like to use shrimp and pay for bait, but we hate paying for bait. If we can, we'll catch our own fresh bait. So we're here at one of my secret spots in the Florida Keys. Shh, it's a secret. I gotta be very quiet. We got a 10-foot Betts cast net from Captain Jack's. Yeah. Yeah, we got him. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fresh mullet. That's how we do it, guys. Sharking with seaweed with Jack. And we're back, baby. We're back. Let's go. Woo, get the bucket, Jack. We have a, mullet, a school of mullet. Zoom in on them so they can see. I hope you guys can see them. Big old school of mullet. But they're so far away to throw a 10 foot net. What is that, about 22 feet away? Yeah. To throw a 10-foot net 22 feet away? Ooh, they just got spooked. Ooh. To throw a 10-foot net. That far away, you have to sacrifice having that big pancake with having more of a pie-shaped cast, but you get the distance. You may have a pie-shaped cast, but at least you go 25 feet and get mullet. If I throw a huge pancake and it's five feet short, what good is it? So remember that. Don't feel bad if you have to hoist it way out there and you don't get a perfect pancake. Oh yeah. That I got him on that side. That one was a... Oh, I got you. Oh, we got him. Let's go. We Let's go. Him. Oh, we're done here, guys. We got bait for our whole trip. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Woo! Shark and wheat. Seaweed! Oh, yeah! All right. So very quickly, our bait problem is over. These mullets, we're going to take them to the bridge. Big whole fillets of silver mullets and cast way out with a fisherman's rig and a four-ounce sinker for mutton snappers in the Florida Keys. Follow us out there. So this is classic. Classic Florida Keys. The big old osprey nest you see on the uh, electrical poles. When we were kids, Hammer would have us count those. Whoever could spot the most osprey nests. Fun thing doing the kids and the keys for the kids. shark bait I might have to put out an iguana come here buddy come here boy yeah boy come here boy look look at that cast iron that cast iron water pipe you're drinking water now at our new, our new spot we're gonna get live baits to walk for barracudas the mullets are situated right where they normally are. 
in another one of my secret spots. I'm gonna cast net these, keep them in the net. I'll walk them in the net up this seawall where Jack and Willie Fondora, the president of the South Florida Shark Club, will be making barracuda rigs while I walk up the mullets. Jackson Memorial and took this food cart. <laughs> oh no! What is that? Oh man! Someone in Jackson Memorial is missing meals. They're missing meals. And Jack went to IKEA and took an IKEA cart. <laughs> All right, live mullets. Now we're gonna get a big cooter. Up the top lip. Boom. Big bridge rod going down. Ooh, yes, sir. So now you walk this all the way down until the cooters come out of the bridge. Boom, and attack. First big mullet got hit by the wrong cooter, small cooter. Going back into the live wall. Let's try with a smaller mullet. Here we go. Big one. I'm running out of line. Go further so it doesn't rub. It's gonna rub. Yeah. Got him. Keep walking that way. And then you gotta run back. As Mark the Shark would say, major Googie. Major, major Ooh. Googie. Major Googie. Look how he pumps this fish in. Major Googie. Is there still line in there? Yeah, he's got line. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Instant karma. Never take a lady's rod away. Oh. Oh. You throw it. You throw it. All right. Beautiful fish. Last step is wiener bait, huh? Live shrimp. Scrimp. Gotta go back. Out of season. Protect the species. Protect the resource. For our grandchildren, our kids. All right. Now you see him. Now you don't. Commit to it, baby. I want to see commitment. Oh. Boom. Boom, boom. Sooner or later, the man sees all the little grunts. Hitting at the bait, toon, 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 toon. he gets fed up and he comes, that's mine, give me! Nice mutton snapper, wow. Nice mutton snapper. Nice mutton snapper, wow. Alright, first one, guys. Nice. Yeah. Woo, electrical eel. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, sideways. Yeah. You got there, partner. Oh, oh. Yeah. Bravi. Bravi. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. 14 inch yellow tail from the bridge. Right, Jack. He's on. What'd you have for bait, Jack? A little chunk of mullet? Looks like a mutton. Is he a keeper? Yeah. Beautiful, look how pink he is. Let's get him measured. Okay. Here, let me get a picture of you with him. Hold him up, Jack, for the video. 
Jack's out here struggling with seaweed. I told you we we're gonna catch muttons. Yes, sir. Here's a keeper, Jack. Oh, maybe he just fought hard. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice, healthy mutton. They're biting. Bro, I'm telling you, you got to cast way under with a fillet. Was the subway not enough? You still wanted some spaghetti? A bird's nest. I got a bird's eye view. All right, we got What do we got there, Will? Big runner. Hook them on top of the head, leave them alive. Live bait does it. Let's do it. Oh, circle hook on top of the head. I love it. That, you might even get a giant cooter. You want to uh, lip up What do you think? I'd go on top of the head. There he is. Drop him down. Woo. Oh, nice live shark bait. Guys, if I'm a gambling man, I'd put all my money in on this. Uh-oh. He's still alive? He'll wake up. He's shocked. Is that a Jewfish down there? So when they're this gut hooked, best thing to do on this, put your line on it. Cut the line. Let go. Probably a big Goliath, he'll probably get it again. It's a big Goliath grouper. Yeah, he dropped it again. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, all the way up. Right here. Right, I hit him, hit him. Real, real, hit him. Yeah! Yeah! That's a hammer! That's a hammer! That's a hammer, bro! Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a hammer underneath. You're gonna get stripped. All right, here I got you. Huh? All right, now, hey, look. This is how you gotta catch a shark on the incoming. Look that way. Keep it straight. Yeah. Oh. This is how you gotta do it when they're underneath the bridge. Let go that rock. I got it. I got it. Bridge fishermen, pay attention. No more losing those big permits, those big tarpons, or in this case, big sharks, to the line rubbing on a new bridge when the fish shoots underneath. All you need to do is have one person get on their knees, grab the rod, pin it to the wall, while two people on top power wench and reel it in. This is a trick that I learned from Rene De Dios years ago as a young boy. He's turning, he's turning, he's coming. You making the turn, come on. He's coming south, keep turning. Keep turning. He's gonna take us under, but we can't do nothing. We gotta straighten the line up. Straight, bring the rod up. Bring the rod up. Go ahead. Bring the rod up. Yeah, bring the rod up. Right here. There go. There right here, here. Hold the rod. Let go. 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 Let go.
Move right, move right, move right. Get away from the fence. Get away from the fence. Don't get free. Don't get free. Let's go. Try to catch a shark underneath the bridge. It's almost impossible. That shark beat us up, but we got him. What? Yeah! Dream work! Dream work makes a dream work. Another keeper over here. Sun's going down, it's going down, baby. Talking with seaweed. 